This screencast is to help you with Module 2, Lesson 18, Homework. For a change of pace, I'm not basing it on the problem set. I'm actually basing it on the concept development problems just to make sure that I, I hit some of the strategies um, that they would like you to explore. Let's start with this one. As usual, we will be rounding the divisor first. So we have our dividend and our divisor and 23 rounds to 20 and instead of just looking at the 20 I'm, I'm, I'm going to look at the 2 here and list the multiples of 2 so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 well that 8 works very well with 8,000 so I'm going to simply use 8,000 as my dividend. And we're going to do a little erasing here and make some more space. There we go. And we're going to take 8,000 divided by 10 divided by 2. That's 800 divided by 2. Add some of those little marks that we should have added earlier. And 800 divided by 2, or 8 hundreds divided by 2 is 4 hundreds, so the answer is 4 hundred. That one's pretty straightforward. With this problem, uh, that we're trying to introduce a little bit more flexibility in our thinking. Uh, we'll find that useful as time goes on. Of course, you can really keep with the simple if the flexible thinking confuses you, but we're going to... Uh, demonstrate some alternative ideas with our rounding to find estimated quotients. So we're going to start as we usually do. I'm going to put my about equal to sign there. We're going to leave our div dividend blank and we're going to round our divisor. 48 clearly rounds to 50. So we're now going to think of our multiples of 5. Try to make that look more like a 0. 5, 5, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And we'll see that this 26 in our 2,691 is between 25 and 30. So we could use either one of those. Uh, 2,691 is a little closer to 25, so we'll do that first. And we'll take and decompose our divisor. And we now take 2,500 and divide it by 10 and get 250. We divide that by 5. And we get an estimated answer of 50. We could also use the 30, turning the 2,691 to 3,000. Once again, decomposing our divisor. Three thousand divided by ten is three hundred. Divided by five equals sixty. So these are both legitimate. Uh, estimated quotients for the problem 2,691. Uh, one is estimating to the lower side, one is estimating to the higher side. Um, either one's legitimate. Uh, what you should do though is show your work when you're doing these so that your teacher understands what you are thinking. 5,484 divided by 71. Let's use our procedure we've been using and we'll just take our dividend, leave a blank there, and our divisor, clearly 71, rounds to 70. Now we'll think of uh, multiplication facts or uh, multiples of, of 7, that'll work well, and I can list them out, and I'm going to 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, and we'll have 63 for good measure. 
Well, if we look at this, the clear choice is uh, the 56, because 56 is div easily divisible by 7. We'll do the usual procedure of decomposing our divisor. Five thousand six hundred divided by ten is five hundred sixty divided by seven, and the answer is eighty. Our rounded answer is eighty here. Uh, it is between. Uh, we could estimate down to forty-nine, but that's a pretty good distance from our uh, fifty-four in our five thousand four hundred eighty-four. The next problem gets really interesting because there's a number of approaches that we can use. All right, so we have 9,215 divided by 95. Now, because 95 is right in the middle, I could round up and I could round down uh, just as easily. Now, if I round it up to the nearest 10, I would get 100. And that makes things a little bit more interesting because... Uh, we have multiples of 100. That's real simple, right? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 9 works well. So in that case, I would use 9,000. And 9,000 divided by 100 is 90. So that's one estimate. What if we round it down? Let's give it a shot. So in this case, I'm going to have my... 90, and again I'm going to round that to 9,000. What's 9,000 divided by 90? Well, that's 100. So again, since it's in the middle, we could round up or round down. A lot of us are used to routinely just rounding up. If that's what makes you comfortable, that's fine. There's yet another approach. What if we left that divisor 95? What could we use that's really close to this number? That's easily divisible by 95. Well, how about 9,500? So sometimes we don't need to round the divisor. We can look for opportunities and relationships between the dividend and the divisor, and instead just round the divisor keeping or the dividend and keeping the divisor the same. If we do that, once again, we end up with 100. These are three legitimate approaches to rounding to find your nearest quotient. Um, just be open to the idea that sometimes we can do something a little bit different than our standard rounding procedures.